What's up, guys? Sloppy Wet Blow here. Well, we got Bioshock. It came out remastered. Looking forward to this. Uh, any kind of graphical improvement always adds to games that are getting old, nine years old plus. So Bioshock, Bioshock 2 were upgraded um, for the PC. The only problem is, is that it is the most direct console port I've ever seen. Some So much so that in the game it has like if you want to click the buttons it has like Y, like the Xbox Y. It's just, it's incredible. And the graphical problems is graphical. You can't change any graphical settings. Some of the settings are off. The widescreen, if you go to switch 3440 by 1440 and change like um, the internal setting, there's not many, but one of the internal settings like AF it will throw it right out of widescreen. It doesn't work anymore. There's mouse lag, mouse acceleration issues, mouse um, smoothing issues. So there is problems up the wazoo on the game. So let's get into some fixes for you guys. First thing you're going to do is percentage sign app data. And percentage sign again. Click it. When you do that, Bioshock HD, Bioshock. Bioshock Any, we're going to get into the first fix, the widescreen fix. If you go to change the setting like I just told you, it will throw you out and you will have a problem. You cannot get it back. It's unbelievable, man. That's all I'm going to tell you. So you're going to scroll down, all right? So you're going to see right here, windrv.windowsclient. Right here, full screen viewport X equals 3440. You're going to put that. Full screen viewport Y equals 1440. You're going to put that. And you're going to click File and Save. What that will do, we'll save it and you are good to go. Your widescreen is fixed. All right. Very, very important. All right. That is the widescreen fix aspect. So we are going to go down and we're going to go to the next issue. And that is the actual sound issue. We're going to scroll all the way down. All right. And in here is... B E A X enabled equals false. It'll say by default, you're going to put true right here. Put true right there. And right here, speaker mode SM under slash five under slash one right there. You're going to put that. That's what you're going to put. Okay. It probably says stereo. Put this file and save. That will fix the sound aspect dramatically. All right. So this is something I really want you to do. Now, graphically speaking in the game, you're going to go scroll up just a little bit. Engine.RenderConfig. In here, you're going to notice that some things are already off. First thing is, level of level here, you want to put 16. Okay, this is the thing in game setting that throws the widescreen 3440 off. If you, it set it like 4. If you go to move it, it throws widescreen off. So that's the fix, okay? Make sure this says 16. There is some settings like this one, dynamic shadow detail should say probably medium. You want this on high and use high detail soft particles equals true. All right. That should be false on default. It's amazing. You cannot change these in game settings. All right. So in here, you're going to put those settings and make sure that all the things are on high. True, true, true. And with that, you're going to do again, file and save. All right. Now, this is where we get into the mouse leg issues now in here it says reduce mouse leg and double mouse uh, double buffer mouse leg right in here put false false do it for all three okay for here too if you scroll up a little bit it's going to show it again reduce mouse leg false false i did it for here too this is i think i'm almost guaranteed this is for like dx11 dx10 dx9 so you're going to be using 11 that's that's the pretty much the current graphics but just to make sure i didn't want any kind of loopholes put false false on the reduced mouse leg okay and reduce mouse leg here and double buffer mouse leg and false false i even did it on the this one as well all right when you're done with that you're going to do file and save all right and actually i threw myself out i didn't want to do that but hold on a second here not a big deal. App data again, and we're going to do the percentage sign. Not a big problem. I'll just show you how to get back here again, which is a good thing. Bioshock HD, Bioshock. Instead of Bioshock Any, you're going to go to User Any this time. This is another mouse fix, acceleration fix. And on the very, very bottom, as you see, I'm on the bottom of the scroll, engine.player input. Mouse acceleration threshold should say zero. Again, file and save. You're done with the aspect. You're almost completely done. You're going to come in here. You're going to go to your C drive, programs, files, 
x86 steam steam apps S common you can always sh do this slowly for you guys later I'm trying to go as fast as i can and you're going to see bioshock remastered build final and default user any this is for another mouse fix because the mouse is so damn aggressive as you see i'm scrolling down and you're going to find right here mouse x if mouse look enabled count here la, 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 la. This should say speed 2500, and underneath this, this should say speed 2500. This will slow the mouse down in settings, because even on one in Bioshock, the original remastered, it is so damn aggressive. So I experimented with 1000, found it to be still too fast, and then I went down to 750, found it to be really good. Again, again, file and save when you do that you're done you have done you have fixed your widescreen issue you have fixed your sound issue because the sound in the game is so lackluster to you enable the 5.1 sound you have re re you know removed the mouse lag mouse acceleration issues and you are on your way to having the best experience with bioshock with the graphical settings as well